I made a high quality cinematic sequence using just stock music, footage, sound effects, and our new Motion X pack. But here's the video before I added the Motion X pack. So I hope you enjoyed that sequence as it was on its own, but now this video is gonna go into how to add motion graphics to a sequence like that and really tell a more immersive story. So the theme I wanted to establish with the sequence is childhood imagination. I was looking through the Motion X pack and I came across the Scribble Art Animation Pack. It gave me this really nostalgic childhood-like feeling and I found the perfect story on ArtGrid as you guys saw in the sequence. Uh, it was the kid, the little boy dreaming of becoming an astronaut. By the way, the Motion X pack is available for all of Artlist and ArtGrid's paid users. This pack has over 200 hundred elements that can like really level up your videos. So if you're interested, go check it out in the description below. Okay, enough talking. Let's get into how to make this video. Let's get started using the Motion X pack on our sequence. So for the first clip, I want to leave completely empty, no motion graphics, specifically because I want to reuse this clip again at the end of the video. For clip number two of the close-up shot of the boy uh, looking at the suit, we're going to create a dynamic link between Premiere Pro and After Effects. This allows us to place effects on the clip in After Effects while keeping it within Premiere Pro. Next, we're going to rotoscope the boy from the back background and rotoscoping is basically cutting out any specific subject within the frame that you want to keep. If you can imagine like a green screen just without using a green screen. So you're literally cutting it out. For rotoscope, we're just gonna duplicate the clip layer, select the rotoscope tool and double click on the comp monitor. And let's start highlighting the spots that I wanna keep with a green highlighter. Uh, that's what this rotoscope tool is right there, the little man with the brush. You keep this rough. Also After Effects does a lot of the heavy lifting for us. Now once that's done, let's grab the element labeled Scribble 05. I'm gonna shorten the names for a lot of these elements because they're longer names. Um, I don't wanna repeat them over and over again in the video. So let's just shorten this to Scribble 05. In the Scribble Art and pack. And then we're gonna place that behind the boy and scale it to match the frame size. And the reason for this element is to introduce the boy's imagination. He wants to be an astronaut, he wants to fly, and what better way to illustrate that than birds? Don't judge me. This is how my brain interprets it. Sorry to interrupt the edit session. Just wanted to remind you that if you guys are enjoying this video, then go ahead and give this video a like just to let us know that you're having a good time. Also subscribe to this channel if you wanna see more videos like this and click the notification bell so that you'll get notified the next time we put out another video. All right, let's get back to the tutorial. Okay, so for the next shot, the shot of the boy pretending to fly the, the toy spaceship among the planets, we're just gonna put the element labeled E23 from the motion graphics elements pack to add interest to the shot and to draw our attention more to his imagination again. So let's just drag and drop it and scale it down. Um, and then let's just change the position up to fit the shot. Let's transition from this clip to the next one by dropping a shape 02 and splash 01. And we're gonna time it so that the splash happens after shape 02 reaches where the star is to make more of a playful splash effect. Uh, and then the splash will actually stay and it'll hang on and lead into the next shot. So as soon as the splash finishes, we're going to use that momentum and add in another effect. We're gonna add scribble 08. And we're gonna time this specifically for when the boy makes the noise when he goes because it looks like he's the animation is blowing air out of his mouth and I think it just adds a bit more fun and kind of just immerses you because it is jumping out at you at the screen for this clip I don't want to overdo it I think it works just as well on its own and I think also this clip as well but for this clip of the boy closing his eyes I do want to draw attention to his eyes and create a sort of transition as well so let's use animation 06 and scale it position it and let's fit the time over his eyes so that it the animation starts on top of his eyes uh, just in time for it to close. And on top of this, symbolically, it's an infinity symbol. It can show the vastness and the endlessness of a child's imagination. The good thing is that this element can continue to the next clip. It actually lines up very well with the kid's eyes, with the boy's eyes, to the hand of the astronaut in the next one, where he turns on his flashlight. And again, to draw the eyes to the part of the shot that we want the viewer to look at. So for this clip of the astronaut turning on his flashlight, I want to bring it into After Effects, and I want to rotoscope it, specifically around his finger where he touches his flashlight. And let's add element E01 for our futuristic hologram effect effect and when he presses the button on his helmet it looks like it's kind of popping out uh, and let's move on to the next one so for this rocket ship clip I really want to go all out with it because there's just a lot of fire we have a lot of smoke elements and, and a few fire elements so I really want to go all out with it so 
Let's take fire O2, fire O1, smoke O2, and smoke O3 from the elements pack. We're just gonna scale it down, position it, and rotate it to fit the shuttle in the best way that we see it illustrate the shuttle and all the fire and the smoke. Then also let's add smoke O1 from the extreme transitioners pack to carry us to the next clip. I wanna use this transition as if the smoke is completely engulfing whatever camera is filming it. Uh, okay, so let's move on to the next clip. Uh, it's probably one of my favorite clips. Let's actually bring it into After Effects. So let's create a dynamic link, and then I'm gonna do two layers of rotoscoping. So the astronaut from the background and then the astronaut's finger from the rest of the clip and I'll explain why. So let's put scribble a 07 and let's just duplicate it and knock them out of sync because I think they look too uniform when they're on together. For his finger touching the screen, we'll add uh, element E14 uh, underneath the finger layer. And then we're just, let's just time it up and position it in 3D space. So we're gonna tick this little square box and we're gonna mess with the orientation of it in 3D to make it look like a hologram as well. And then we're actually placing it within that reality, within that scene. Okay, so for this shot, the wide shot of the astronaut next to the space station in space and the, the planet behind him, let's add smoke 01 and smoke 02, just to add a bit more interest and draw your eyes to the space shuttle and add more movement. And let's add also E29 to the star behind it. Basically, the reason why I wanna add more things to this is because since it's a wide shot and everything's moving in slow motion, it looks like it's a still image. We wanna add more movement to it to really draw attention to these different elements going on. So for this clip of the boy walking in the desert. Actually, I'm gonna bring it into After Effects because um, I wanna add an element behind him. So let's do another rotoscope. So let's duplicate this clip. Uh, let's rotoscope the top clip and let's add animation, scribble animation 22. Go back into Premiere Pro. Let's add a transition from the first clip to this clip. Okay, cool. So let's actually try something. Let's actually duplicate the clip within Premiere um, and let's scale it down a little bit to give a bit of a jittery kind of like punch in, punch out effect as if there is like an aftermath from the energy surge that was that just transitioned us into this clip. Uh, for this one, I don't think it needs much. Let's move on to the next one. Okay, so for the two clips that I also cut on action of the boy walking up on the rocks and the adult astronaut walking up on the rocks, let's bring both into After Effects and to rotoscope both of them and let's add Scribble 13 to act as the boy's imagination of the sunlight. And this actually ties in the clip even more than just the match cut because the uh, the sun animation also continues into the, the second clip. So that, that helps out a lot. Okay, so let's move on to the next clip. I think for this one also, let's just go without any elements, give a bit of a break for a second. So for this close up of the boy, I felt like we're almost kind of like seeing into his thoughts. So let's use Scribble 07. Also, it's the star one from before, but it almost looks like a thought bubble in the beginning. So the Motion X pack does have a speech bubble pack, but I want to use Scribble 07 for this. And then let's transition to the next clip, which is kind of similarly framed because it's one is exterior, one's interior, but it's both of the boy looking frame left and both contemplative. So let's see what we can do with an animation. Okay, you know, let's use Scribble 15 and let's position it on his face because I like how it's kind of like, it's almost like he's drawing his own face. So not only is it a match cut, but it's also the animation helping us transition from the exterior clip to the interior clip. Okay, so for this shot of the astronaut's footprint on the moon, let's add a bit more of a childhood flair to it. Let's use Scribble 22 and Smoke 03 to also draw the attention to where the footprint is, uh, but also to remind us that we're looking at it through a child's eyes. You know, like the smoke 03 could also be like a dust being kicked up. So let's continue. Uh, for this one, let's give it a break again. So, let's, okay, so let's transition from that. Let's say, let's use energy shot no glow from extreme transitions. So let's use it to jolt us into the next shot of the boy putting on a spacesuit. And just to add, you know, more flair and energy coming up to the end of the sequence, uh, let's use the element electric a one right at the top to make it feel almost like he's a superhero. Cause it's, you know, like, zip, poof. I don't know, it reminds me a little bit of Shazam, but that's just me. Let's move on to the next one where we're not actually match cutting it, um, but we are using the same idea. We're match cutting on idea. Um, the boy's getting ready, he's putting on a spacesuit. The adult astronaut's also getting ready, putting on his space glove. So uh, we'll match cut it to the adult astronaut also putting on a spacesuit. As the glove goes on, let's put the electric 01 animation. So for the next shot of the boy putting on his helmet, let's just add more energy to it. Cause again, we're coming up at the end of the sequence, add electric 02 and let's frame it to fit uh, right on his helmet helmet so that it looks like it's running up his helmet. Let's use the transition um, electric light no glow from extreme transitions. And then to the transition back out of this one into the next shot, let's use element 18, uh, which is basically just a scribble square to kind of pull us back into the childhood imagination again from all that higher energy that we were just doing. For this shot, I'm using the exact same 
clip that I used in the beginning, also for the end. I told you I'd explain why. The idea is in storytelling, you wanna show the transition of a journey that the hero or the main subject is taking. He has gone through a journey, he's gone through something. He went from point A back to point A, but as a different subject to the story. I'm gonna add some sound effects, but we're not gonna go over in this, in this tutorial because it would just be a freaking long tutorial. So let's just watch the finished product after sound design and see how all the motion graphics that we added, added more layers and more depth to the story. Overall, I think the motion graphics really do add a lot to the sequence. They made things pop more and add more movement and just more interest and things to catch your eye to really get the people and your, the viewers immersed in your story. So if you wanna see another tutorial that was done by Yuval using another pack that we put out, I really recommend it. The video is gonna be over here. Even though that specific pack is not available anymore, there really is just so much to learn from his thought process. So I wouldn't miss that. All right, y'all, thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.